You know what sucks? I'll tell you what sucks. Losing your computer for two weeks, being unable to record because of that, obviously. <laughs> then I'm um, getting it back and download re-downloading Pinnacle Studio, finding that there's a new version of Pinnacle Studio, downloading it, finding that the interface is awful and that it makes the audio skip around and that it just plain old doesn't work. Well, then, <laughs> deciding to record again to make it better, only to find that some of your fa save files out that- let me try this again. That some of your save files are corrupted and you don't know why, so you have to start in the middle of Lungfishopolis. But that last part is okay because Lungfishopolis is really fun. Yeah, if you haven't guessed yet, that exact scenario just happened to me. In any case, let's just go on- well, okay, first of all, we need to get our rifle. And, um, try not to get shot. Also, before you go in here, make absolutely certain that you have your shield up, because otherwise, well, you're gonna be in a lot of pain. As in imaginary brain mind bullets. I am an assassin. Yeah, that's good for you. Oh, jeez. Lag? Jeez! Anyway, yeah, you might also find some inconsistencies. Maybe the rank is this higher, is maybe it's gun. lower. I don't- I'm not entirely sure, honestly. But, um... Got it. Well, all I know is that when I started Lungfish Apples, I was over rank 40. Which I know couldn't have happened, because I know I got Calm Bomb from the... Side Challenge Marker above Boyd. Last time. I think, anyway. If I'm wrong, then, well, I guess I'm wrong. Tautologies, woo. In any case, well, I'm really sorry for any inconsistencies that might show up. You know, different rank of figment count, different arrowhead count, different life count because I didn't kill myself this time. You know, I actually was good enough to not die. That's nice, I guess. But the circumstances were outside my control, and I hate them just as much as you do. Probably more, actually, but this is an AM, you know, pissing contest for how angry you can get. So let's just go up and... Well, actually, let's punch this last thing, because I like punching things, and I hate things that haven't yet been punched or something. Maybe it's just stop babbling for five seconds. Anyway, let's just go up, and I can do this. Just that. Don't come any closer. I'll never tell you the location of the milkman. Never! Okay, let's all just settle down and talk- ah! Suicide! Where is the milkman? Who is the milkman? What is the mission of the milkman? Come closer. <coughs> and <coughs> I'll, I'll tell you. <coughs> Glad I never bought any of those. Hmm. Yeah, this game is good, not for I kids. I need a way to get even higher. Like super high. As if I were flying. I know. Maybe I could find some stilts. And that, kids, is known as dramatic irony. Take notes, you'll be quizzed on this. Oh, also, I didn't get the um, ammo up from the housewife house this time. Stop, helicopter! Because you know what? Land and let me in. Screw I want to see it. the view from up there, please. I just want to get through this at this point. I mean, it's a really fun game, and it's a really fun level, and I just love it. But there are only so many times you can go through the street, you know, twisty, terrifying streets in a row. Seriously terrifying, especially when you're using levitation. I'll explain that after I finish this thought. Um, before you can just get tired of them. And yes, I did say terrifying. Hold on, let me just get clairvoyance out. Have you tried levitating at these streets? Now, levitation, for some reason, I don't really get it. Because, well, by definition, pilot. you're defying gravity. But it does follow gravity. If you're going like uphill, you slow down. If you're going downhill, you speed up. You tend to go on downhills we are looking for the milkman. when you're levitating. Now, this place is streets, the Milkman Conspiracy streets, are just up and down is. and all over the place. And I can never tell if we're going uphill or downhill, or if the gravity makes it so down. that, well, like, actually going straight. And I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be speeding up yes, or slowing down or going the same speed. And it's just terrifying. Anyway, yes, little island with Wait, a thing. What's that? I'll bet that's it. him. The milkman. He's some coffee. Helicopters move sideways too, but not as fast as planes. He's on that remote island over there. What the heck is that sound? Well, let's check that out. How about 
Seriously? Also, I would question why this thing is flying through a building. It probably broke those windows itself, too. But, you know what, this is the mind of a paranoid schizophrenic. Of course it's not gonna make sense to a saner person. Or a mentally healthy person. Anyway, telephone. Hello? Who is the milkman? Boy, is this you? I think I found the milkman. I have no idea what you're talking about. Who is this? Okay, from now on, your name isn't Boyd. It's Royd, because you're such a big pain in my butt. If you see the lady tossing your cookies, run away. That conversation, one of the other reasons why I love this game so much. Anyway, yes, as that camera angle just showed, the course of action should now be obvious. We are going to go into the... It's fake. I'm worried the other phone. assassins are going to make fun of me. Thing. My and motivations are then clear only to fail myself. at talking. <sighs> Let's try this again. Yeah, we're gonna go into the phone thing and go over onto that remote Sometimes island over there. The government. But first, there are two things that I want to do. I do not kill out of. It's fake. I'm worried the other assassins are gonna make fun of me. Shh! Don't broadcast that fact. They look real. And secondly, now that we have the phone, there is also something very important that we can get on the main island. I normally wouldn't do this, but, well, I think it's pretty, This um, is my gun. Well, it's really pretty important. Also, I think this I'm going to take gun. this opportunity- Yes, we know! I'm going to take this opportunity to go through the, um, you know, whole disguise bucket thing again. And... and do... Though I often smell and get the ammo up again, that's what I, I want to do. Your respect say. Because I so, I will service. see you guys there, I guess. Oh, also. I am a skilled phone repairer. That's nice. Creep. Alright, I have reobtained the ammo up I and a listen phone to your back on the path. Want, but do not because so of my let's sense just of go on up. Operator. Up to here. And thing. But this always just terrifies me. I mean, well, I don't know, get it because in some later levels you have to do some really, really hard and really, well, honestly, quite terrifying grind rail bits where you're jumping over you know, bottomless pits and stuff on the things. But it's just ugh, this thing. I guess it's because the landing area is so comparatively small, and it always seems like you're gonna fly off. Anyway, yes, there is a maximum projection depth up uh, over here, so. Over here, there is a vault. Uh, this vault, I think, is very, very easy to corner, thankfully, since it basically will not jump off cliffs. Anyway, Boyd hired again. This one, I think, is pretty self-explanatory, so I think I'm going to explain the upgrades that I got that I might not have gotten um, the previous time through because of my mysterious higher rank. Ooh, or maybe I screwed up, I don't know. So... At rank 40, I get, well, you get, or Raz gets, or choose your third, per, second, or first person tense here. So Raz gets some um, side chain blast, I think it's called, something like that, chain blast, I don't know, which um essentially lets your side blast bounce and hit three enemies per one side blast. Pretty useful, especially in that um, bouncy bit, in, yeah, the um, airplane bit in Lungfishopolis. Which I already passed. Anyway, at rank 45, you, Rez gets thermo, thermal detonation, which essentially turns pyrokinesis into an area of effect attack. Also, I think it's pretty interesting that Boyd imagines himself to be really, you know, all brave and official and everything. We've seen what he's really like. I mean, come on. So that's about it. Also, right here, the hatbox tag. I bet you know what time it is now! It's overused running gag time! Still, I have no excuse. This is probably one of the best things humanity has ever made. Just this animation! It's a, it's a hat box with a face eating its tag and then they go off and fly away with happy music playing. Anyway, let's just go on back through if I can find my plunger. I'm looking this sewers. extra dimensional backpack of pain. I am a low sewer manager, worker. technician. And, well, here we are again, so let's just get out our phone and prance on over to this, and then go over and... Yeah, no. 